Anna is very excited to announce that Compact Rio will be the new brain or control system for the first robotics competition. So in 2009, over 40,000 high school students will be adopting and using Compact Rio and they will be able to program in LabVIEW uh, as their next generation control system. The, the brains of this robot is a comp, NI Compact Rio. It has a 400 megahertz, 32-bit PowerPC processor, a 2 million gate FPGA, and then modules plug into the FPGA and you choose your modules based upon the I.O. that you want. In this case, first is chosen two analog input modules that have 32 channels each, um, two digital I.O. Uh, 5 volt TTL uh, modules, and then a 24 volt uh, digital I.O. module. The uh, TTL signals, they, they run to a breakout, and this is a prototype of what the breakout looks like. This is, a, this is the actual breakout, so the students are able to make their digital I.O. connections on this. This is what the final one will look like. Uh, this is the power distribution, so we we send signals to the power distribution that, that then control the motor controllers, these Victor motor controllers. The, the Compact Rio connects through Ethernet to the wireless router, so that then from a PC with a uh, wireless connection, you can uh, develop your program, download it, deploy it, debug it, and, uh, and see and monitor as your robot is running. We also have a, uh, a, a, a Ethernet based camera here so that the students can, can get those, uh, those images to the controller. They can actually see them on their laptop and do vision based algorithms uh, on the, uh, so that they can move the robot around. Uh, we're getting right now about seven to eight uh, frames per second from that camera. So, so on the on the analog input ones, this is what they'll actually look like. And so the the students will make their connections to these pins. For the digital, they wire to this right here, where they'll make their connections. And then for the uh, 24 volt digital, this is what they look like. And they, these root over. They can also run uh, solenoid relays from from these modules. So it's actually commercially available. We are we're branding it, and we we're putting a first. Uh, uh, sticker on the on the ones for actually first, but you know these are the same ones and the same technology that our commercial customers are using today. Yeah, we're we're donating a lot uh, all of these to first for the teams to use, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna drastically discount for the teams to buy a backup uh, to the level of what they're paying for their backup controllers today. Yeah, so before they had an 8-bit 40 megahertz processor, so they have uh, you know a, a lot more processing power. Also, because there's an FPGA, we're able to offload a lot of the, the motion control algorithms to the FPGA so that the CPU doesn't have to do those. We transfer data through DMA so the, the teams don't have to use interrupts to take up their processor time. And currently, they're, with their vision, they're getting about one frame per seven seconds, where through, through using our tools, they're able to get about seven to eight frames per second. So the, they're, they're going to be able to drastically do uh, different things now. Uh, because if you've got a frame, made a decision, and then moved, well, by the time you move, second seven, seven seconds later, like then you'll know, like if you move to the right place. With this, you'll be able to to make corrections seven or eight times per second. So they they have wireless through uh, radio modems. So by using this commercially off the shelf uh, 802.11, uh, it makes it where they can actually use a PC and they don't have to use the the proprietary wireless uh, radio modems. We'll also also be uh, monitoring the forums and uh, providing phone support to all the different first teams during their build uh, their build time. Yeah, there will be a special support number that the teams will, will access through our, our first community, which is ni.com slash community slash first. That's where they'll they'll have access to the forums to answer their questions, and then if they do want to call us during that build period, that's where they'll access the 800 number to call us.